How are we doing guys? Welcome to a slightly different video today. So, what we're doing here, I've been streaming a lot of bronze pack method, uh, doing a little bit of trading here and there, and I get quite, often get quite asked, uh, or often get asked quite a lot, what are the best sniping filters? Now, there's no magical combination of, you know, leagues, nations, teams, positions, uh, and there's nothing in particular that works every single time. Because players' prices change, depending on if they're in like marquee matchups, if there's an SBC, obviously at the moment it's foot birthday, depends on if you know if you need a certain nation for an SBC, that nation will all of a sudden go up in price, I mean that sniping that player will cost you more, but you know, you also might reap the rewards of that. So I'm not here to break this down and say this is exactly how it will work. I'm gonna give you a couple of examples, because uh, obviously I do a lot of bronze pack method and league SBCs. If you haven't seen those videos, please do go and look at those on the channel. They're elsewhere, how to make unlimited coins with bronze pack method. There's two videos on that. There is another sniping one that you can just snipe in any player in general. Um, that teaches you just how to snipe a player in general. So you could go and you want, if you want to snipe a, a Bonaventura, if you want to snipe a Buffon, if you want to snipe a Cover, like just literally any player, it will just teach you the right settings to put on for your pricing just to make sure you can bid on that player or snipe him, sorry, and make profit. If you're not sure what sniping is on a player, it's where you go to buy a player. Let's use Bonaventura as an example. I think he's probably only worth like 800 coins anyway, is he? I don't know, I don't know how much he is actually worth. No, he's worth a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, so the cheapest one on the market is 1,000. Um, if you look on it, you can see most of them are on for like 1.4K there. I'm gonna quickly move myself to the other side um, just so you guys can see uh, exactly what I'm talking about in this bottom left corner. So you wanna put the, the marker at 15 mil for max price. And then also you lower it each time. So say you're looking for a player under 1K, you'd go 950 and you just constantly just keep moving that price down. It's basically A, L, B, Y, A, L, B, Y, XL1 triangle, if for example, and you just keep doing that and eventually one might pop up for, for less. They might not. I'm not going to sit here and snipe it for the whole video. I'm here to give you some ideas of players that are worth a lot of money. So obviously, you know, like I said before, with the league SBC method, I'm doing a lot of that. There's always one or two teams in every league that costs a lot. You've got Norwich, you've got Sheffield United in the Premier League, you've got Dijon in the French League, uh, you've got Brescia in the Italian League, you've got uh, Dusseldorf, some players are worth a little bit of money, uh, especially Paderborn and Union Berlin, though, in the Bundesliga. Um, I'm sure there's others in the other leagues as well. I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. So if you were to go on, Let's say Dijon, because Dijon is a massively expensive one. Um, so we'll go on to those, <clears throat> and we'll go in midfielders. If you scroll through, let's put the price at 5.2k. You might find there's a couple on there, a couple of wide midfielders. The only issue with that is you'll get a left and right mid, and you don't need that for that team. So with Dijon, you probably want to look for centre mid or central defensive mids. So you'll go on to CDM. Let's just whack the price up, find out what they're selling for. Wow. <coughs> um, okay. So you're looking at 12K is the cheapest on the market right now. So if you were to, let's cycle up to 14K, 12K and then 13 and a half K. Now, Dijon is an SBC that people are probably gonna leave right till the end. That Cyprian card is amazing. Again, you'll see that 12, I mean, even that 12K might be worth sniping to sell for 1,300, uh, for 13,000, sorry, for 13,000, sorry, sorry, sorry. Got that totally wrong. But. If you want to snipe that player, you're going to have to go and set yourself down as something like 11k because you'll make at least 2k profit from it. And again, you just keep doing that over and over again. Now, this is not a guaranteed sniping filter to work. Um, it will take time. You, you might get lucky and pick one up. If you pick one up, you're making money. But you've got to weigh up the amount of time it's going to take you to find a player um, versus how much money you're going to make. So if you're going to snipe one player in 10 minutes and you're going to make 2k, is it worth it? So the players that I'm going to say to you are worth it at the moment. And again, this by the time you guys watch this video, it may be still relevant. Because obviously as I release the video, it is relevant. But in a, in a week or two, it might not be as relevant. So do check the prices. I imagine with these league SBCs, these players will stay relevant for most of the game. You've got Union Berlin strikers are, are like 16k, 14k. Um, you've got from Union Berlin as well. You probably want to look at CMs and CDMs because they're currently 10k plus. If you can get one for less... Fantastic, you might make some money on it. Uh, Paderborn has pretty much got anywhere. You've got strikers, centre mid, cam, right mid, centre defensive mid, centre backs. In the same league, you've got Dusseldorf. They have a few. Now, these are kind of lower risk ones because 
some of these you can fill with gold. Uh, I think there's a few silvers. But there's Dusseldorf right back, Dusseldorf CDM and CM, and Dusseldorf forwards. So that includes left wing, right wing. Obviously, you can convert those to left forward, right forward. In the Italian league, you want to look for Brescia, defenders and midfielders, because up front you can use Donnarumma and Balotelli, who are gold. So don't worry about sniping strikers. Uh, in midfield, also, you've got Tonali, uh, who's a centre mid. I think there's another dude, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. But you're basically looking at these teams. I will quickly run through them here. I'm going to flip myself into the other corner. Um, we do all these in one take because I'm a lazy editor. So um, basically, you're looking for Premier League. Let's, let's start off with Norwich. You're looking for Norwich defenders and left midfielders, someone like Campwell. So you're looking for defenders and you're looking for left midfielders. Those are the players you're looking to snipe. Also, same league, Sheffield United. Now, Sheffield United transferred in a lot of gold centre-backs, so they're not as valuable. You're looking at Sheffield United midfielders and Sheffield United forwards, because they've only got like silver strikers. Um, Billy Sharp is one of them, I know. Um, McGoldrick, I think it is as well, maybe, off the top of my head. They're the sort of players you're looking for. In the French league, you are looking for, like we said, you're looking for Dijon FCO. With that team, you're looking for any kind of defender and CDMs and CMs. So CDM and CM. They're your kind of big money players. You can see there with the CDM. Um, I can't remember his name now. But, it, you know, he was like 13K, cheapest on the market. If you can get them for like 10K, you're making an absolute killing. Then we'll move over to the Bundesliga. Um, we've got Dusseldorf, they have a few players. With Dusseldorf, you're probably looking kind of uh, right backs. Maybe even try right wing back, because some people do position change. But be aware, if someone changes a right back to a right wing back, you might get conned. So do be very, very careful. Always compare right wing back and right back together before you look. And then check left wing back, left back. Because some people do position change trading, which is something slightly different. Also in Dusseldorf, you're probably looking in the midfield kind of region. Um, Set the mid, CDM again. Those guys can be worth quite a bit. You're also looking at Dusseldorf forwards. Again, that includes the left wing, right wing, because you can change them to forwards to get them on six or seven chem. Now, big, big money moves to be made in this league are Paderborn. So for Paderborn, you're basically looking at any player apart from goalkeepers. You're looking at strikers because they're like 16K. You're looking at centre mids and cams, cam, centre mid, even CDM. You've got the bronze CDM, but he goes for a fortune. Remember with Paderborn, you need to think it's something like a 67 rated team. So you do want to try and snipe silvers if you can, because silvers are essential as they have, I think, zero gold players. So you have to have some silvers. Uh, after CDMs, you probably want to look potentially at right midfielders because there's only one, I think, he again is like eight, nine K. Uh, other ones as well, centre backs. Uh, they play three at the back, so don't look at sniping left backs and right backs. I think there's like a, uh, it's either Ivory Coast or Nigerian left back. He's just not worth it for the chemistry. So centre backs are essential there. I think that pretty much covers the Bundesliga, apart from Union Berlin. Although their prices are kind of coming down quite a lot. Union Berlin defenders, because I think they play five at the back. The only thing is with midfielders, you can use Mali, who's a gold, to play left back. So be careful with left back, left wing back. Uh, also with Paderborn, you've got Subotic as well, who's a gold centre back. It was only about a thousand. So be careful with defenders. Not the easiest one. Um, CDMs and CMs uh, are probably more likely to pick you up some more money. Also Union Berlin strikers. So do keep an eye on the strikers as well. The only other main league SBC that I'm going to tell you about is Brescia. We all know, for those of you that have seen the bronze pack method, you know that Brescia is a massively, massively expensive SBC because a lot of their defenders are worth a fortune. So all I'm going to say for Brescia, you just want to look for defenders and midfielders. Do not even think about left and right mids because they play 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Do not even think about strikers because you've got Balotelli and Donnarumma who are like 700 and 1,000. So it's not really worth it. Best thing to do to do this is just kind of cycle through each one. Uh, don't spend like an hour on one team sniping. I wouldn't say spend an hour anyway sniping because you've just got to get lucky. The thing with sniping, and a lot of people think there's like a magic filter that this filter will make you money all the time. Incorrect. Incorrect. You've just got to hope that someone lists it at a low price and you're there in the right place at the right time. The best way that you can do this with sniping, just keep on rotating through. So go through... Norwich defenders and left mids. Go through Sheffield United midfielders and forwards. You know, all those players there. I might try and put a list down below of all the players to look at. Um, there's not even particularly any names that you have to snipe. It's just about positions. People rarely look for a player and go, I need, um, 
I don't know, I need to have the Brescia goalkeeper. What's his name? That's his name. Da, da, da. Like, they'll just be like, Brescia goalkeeper, who's the cheapest? That's what I'm going to buy. So hopefully this video has helped you with some sniping filters. Um, there will be more out there. Other people may have used these exact sniping filters uh, and done videos in the past because uh, these players are the expensive SBCs from League SBCs. We obviously do a lot of League SBC methods. Hopefully this has helped you out. Thumbs up if you like the video. Do let me know if you enjoy this kind of content because it's something slightly different. If you do snipe any players, let me know how much for, how much profit. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on a video very, very soon. Do come into the Twitch chat. Follow us on all social media. We'll see you soon.